Uh, hi, Marisa. Uh, we have Marisa Per with us uh, from CIRAT, uh, the French Agriculture Research Center for International Development. And Marisa, welcome to CAT Radio. Thank you so much for being with us today. I would like to ask you firstly to introduce yourself so we know a bit more about you. Yes, hello, Pan. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for inviting me uh, to uh, share my information today. So my name is Marisa and I am uh, an epidemiologist and I'm also the deputy head of uh, a research unit uh, on integrated health uh, in CIRAD, France, which is a French Institute for Agricultural Research for Development. And uh, our unit has 170 people working around five continents. Uh, so uh, in my, my background, I have started as a biotech, biotechnology engineer. And then I moved on to do a PhD uh, in human immunology in, uh, in UK. And as part uh, of my, um, my PhD program was a WHO project to reduce uh, the number of booster doses of vaccines in, in the field in Africa. Um, and I was very interested in this field work. So then I moved on to field epidemiology. Uh, and I started working uh, with CIRAD uh, more on the one else approach. So at the interface between human health and animal health. That, that's that's amazing. Uh, thank you for sharing also about a bit about your background. Uh, you have a great experience also from abroad. I wanted to ask you what kept motivating you and inspiring you throughout your career. Well, I'm very curious and I think that's why I, I kept on moving to a more research field because I started in a very practical field, uh, which uh, I was supposed to work in private and industry. But I, uh, I wanted to, uh, to really uh, understand more about how things worked. Uh, I like discovering things. I like to understand better things. So this is how I've been motivated. And I think this is how I ended up uh, as a researcher. Um, but I also, um, I also like very much to support people and, uh, and to, uh, to work on making uh, changes uh, to improve people's work, to improve people's life. So I think that's also why I moved on to the field of working in developing countries uh, in research and development and, uh, and also why I, I moved on uh, in my career to become more of a manager and helping my, uh, my co-workers to be able to do their work. Mm -hmm. Th that's really important characteristic. I think from my experience as well working with scientists, I've heard that curiosity is the main um, driving force for many scientists. And that's pretty, pretty interesting, I will say. Um, I, I wanted to ask you, um, what message will you share with uh, young people or maybe specifically young girls, since we're talking about uh, this topic today? What message would you share with them who, for someone who would like to follow a career in science, but maybe they are hesitating? Well, I would say don't hesitate. I think we need uh, more uh, women uh, in science. Um, and, uh, and I think a lot of women sometimes uh, don't want to get into this area because they think it's more of a man thing. Um, and, uh, but but so this is not true. And I think uh, there is a, a lot of uh, needs uh, for having uh, um, women because women have a different approach to things. Um, they, uh, I think because of our status, uh, we learn from a very young age uh, how it feels to have to uh, uh, to uh, to defend and stand up for our rights, um, how it feels to be able to to need to help people, and uh, and and I think that science can help that. Uh, trying to better understand how things work and coming up with evidence to help uh, decision makers to take better decisions is very important. Um, so I think that uh, young women should not give up and uh, and uh, they should really. Uh, uh, pursue this uh, this career if they are curious, if they want to learn things and to share their learnings, uh, and they can make a difference. That's amazing message, I think, to end our conversation. Thank you so much, uh, Marisa, for your time um, and for sharing inspiration with us today. Um, we wish you good luck in your career and keep inspiring other people and improving our world. Uh, well, thank you very so much. much.